Beard Baron here today with a new video on how to apply Beard Balm like a boss. I get a lot of questions about Beard Balm in general. If you're not familiar with it, it goes by several names, whether it's Beard Balm, Beard Wax, Beard Butter. It's all the same thing. It's a mixture of wax, oil, and butters. Uh, it's kind of a hybrid between beard oil and mustache wax. It's a controlled product. Still softens up your beard a bit, but it's used to style it, to keep the straight hairs down. Relatively easy to apply. We'll go over a couple of things today and show you how it's done. I'm actually uh, in need of a trim myself this week, so I figured now's a good time to get on camera and show you how well Beard Balm can work. Uh, what I have here today is some of my Wildwood Premium Beard Balm. Comes in a two ounce tin. You know where to find it, thebeardbaron.com. Uh, get yourself a couple of tins, the link's down below. Very easy to apply, just pop the top. It's a non-discoloring beard balm, goes on clear. It's not gonna make your beard look funky or anything like that. You wanna watch that with beard balms or waxes in general that they don't discolor your mustache, your beard. Uh, you just take your back of your thumb, fingernail. It's kind of a hard wax feel, but it butters up really nice when you heat it up in your hands. So here I have just like a little doll up here. I got a mirror in front of me, it's gonna help me. I just put this uh, in between my hands, just rub it like this. I don't put it in between my fingers. I just kind of keep my hands together just like this. And for a longer beard, I start down at my neckline and I work up like this. I have to apply this in a couple of stages since my beard is long. For a shorter beard, you can only probably get away with having to do this once and you start from top down. I'm starting from the bottom up and you'll see why in a second. So if your beard is hanging off of your face and you have a lot of neck hair in your beard, you're gonna to wanna to start at the bottom. So I go for my next little round again. Just take my thumb, scrape it on the bottom. Nice little dollop. Next I'm gonna go up to my sideburns and work it down. Start at the top here like so. Just kind of massage it in a little bit. Like I said, if you had a short beard, you'd start at this point right here. So I do my sides. Go back for more, I'm gonna do the, the chin area. Now if I were to go out for the day with mustache wax on, I wouldn't apply this to my mustache, I'd skip that. But today I'm gonna to show you using in the mustache as well. So I'm gonna go into the front of my chin here, work this in, work into my mustache as well. Now if I were to wear mustache wax, I wouldn't do this, I'd skip it, and then after I'm done using the balm completely, that's when I would use the mustache wax and get everything all set. Now it's best to apply beard balm when your beard is completely dry. Uh, you can apply it when you're like getting out of the shower, you have a damp beard or you have a slightly oiled beard, but the best time is when it's completely dry. It'll adhere much better. And you can already see how, I can already get some shape into my beard already, I can already. Start to play around with it a bit. Mustache gets under control a bit. And just like with the beard oil application, I like to use a quality comb. Uh, you can use brushes, but I find that when using product, it's easier to clean combs rather than brushes. So I start at the bottom where I first applied, working my way up. This is gonna help get that bomb deep in there. Then I move up. At this point, if you have a long beard, you get to enjoy <laughs> how long your beard actually is. This is gonna evenly distribute the beard balm. Now, I'm gonna go down for the styling. This is gonna really help things lie correctly. It's not gonna give you much of a shine like beard oil would it's gonna get more of a matte finish. And of course, if you needed to, you could always apply more balm, depending on what your needs are. Sneak in the mustache. Pretty much see how it gets that right under control. Now what's great about beard balms, you don't have to fully apply it. Say if you didn't want to do it into your entire beard, you could just take a little bit of balm, you know, if your, your sideburns or whatnot were out of control that day and you just didn't want to do it the whole routine, you could just go into your sideburns, just work it in there, work it in there, and leave it at that. That way you don't have to go over the full 
thing here. Now, if you get too much beard balm into your beard, it could get um, a bit waxy. There could be some buildup and stuff like that, or you know, some results that you're not very pleased with. You could use beard oil to dilute it a bit, and you know, brush it out, comb it out. You know, use a you know paper towel to get that uh, product out. Now, the reason why this is more of like a light to medium hold is because anytime that you're using a real heavy, firm hold, any kind of product on your beard is that the firmer or harder that stuff is, it's gonna be pulling out beard hairs. It's actually gonna be very hard to get out. It'll stain your beard forever. So this is sort of like a light medium hold. Uh, it keeps your beard safe. Now, when you're using it, you will take out some beard hairs because it is sticky. Um, that's the whole point of, of beard balm is to give you some control. There's gonna be some hold to it. So you will take some beard hairs out when you, you know, run your brush or comb through your beard. Uh, it's gonna be more so than beard oil, but uh, just part of the game. So really straightforward, really simple. Um, it will help you keep those stray hairs out, especially if you're not one for trimming. This will really help you guys to get those hairs to lay really straight down. Uh, you know, curly beards are curly beards. You can try and fight them all you want. It should give you a little bit more control than you have now, but don't expect miracles if you have a very curly beard. Uh, it's really straightforward, guys. If you got any questions, drop me some comments down below. You know where to find me. You know where to find the good old Wildwood. Beardbaron.com. Leave me some comments down below. Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, you know where to find me. I'll talk to you guys soon. Until then, take care.